border policies are the most strongest, the fairest we've seen. It's but the now, bill Governor, that was, you know uh, a lot of people, including your own party, would not join that statement. Mm. There are millions of people who have come here over the last few years that, um, you know, they, they see this as an the open policies border. Well, simply, we have a policy. Donald Trump sees it as a political. So look, James Langford in Oklahoma, the Border Patrol agents, the Wall Street Journal, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, all said pass this legislation. You have to have Congress to authorize 1,500 new border agents. You have to have Congress to authorize DOJ to speed adjudications on these asylum claims. Those are things that would actually work. Donald Trump told us for four years he would deal with this. He didn't. He didn't build his wall, 2%. Mexico didn't pay for it. This is a real bill that has bipartisan support, it has the experts on board, and it starts to tackle these issues. And we don't have to resort to demonizing people. We don't have to resort to, uh, to, to making up or crafting stories, as Senator Vance said he did. Those things were not happening in Springfield, but it doesn't mean that we can't pass a piece of legislation to strengthen our border. That's what Kamala Harris is talking about. Well, She's talking Governor, about solving the of, problem. That piece no. of legislation does cut, yeah, include the wall that you guys have been so, um, you've disparaged that. I mean, the vice president has as well. So I don't know if she really intends to move forward with that. But it was negotiated by three or four senators and many Republicans came out against it long before President Trump indicated he didn't like it either.